think my favorite message about the Positive Coaching Alliance is that positive doesn't mean you can't be fiercely competitive. They go hand in hand and you can be fiercely competitive and shake each other's hand and give each other a hand and go have a drink. It's, it's what we should do and that's how we will change the world. I want to thank all of you for joining us this evening to celebrate a legend. Kathy Delaney Smith, we have chosen her to be our 2020 Positive Impact Legend because of all that she has done in her 49 years of coaching girls and women and 38 of them at Harvard. And that's why we're shining a spotlight today on Kathy. We want to inspire more people, especially women, to be and to coach like Kathy, our legend. In all seriousness, Kathy, or Kathleen, as I like to endearingly call her, inspired me simply, but um, I can unequivocally say that she's a second mother to me. Uh, no other woman, and certainly no other coach, has had such an impact on my life as Kathy has. And Kathy was the first person in my life, besides my parents, that told me, in essence, you can do whatever you want. I'm 25 years removed from playing for you in college and I still find that in my day-to-day -day job in life I rely on the lessons I learned. Mm -hmm. I have 10 stories where you really challenged me and made me run but I really think that's because you believed in me. Thank you Buzz. Don't you love it when she cries? I do. I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I truly believe the best coaches evolve and learn and get better and steal from one another. And, and I'm still evolving. I just, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement, um, equity, um, everything. I mean, we have to keep learning. So I hope I do a good job of that. And it's not without mistakes. My favorite thing about coaching are my student athletes. I love my players. I have all, from Westwood, day one, even the ones that are hard to coach. I have cared about everybody I coach. So something in me, must that must come across. There's nothing wrong with learning on the job. Like I would say to everyone, like your failure is your fuel. You know, I struggle more with losing a basketball game than I do with making a mistake or saying something wrong or messing up a drill. I work really hard at relationships and relational leadership. And so um, this particular generation, it takes different work than maybe even 20 years ago, but build a trusting relationship, be empathetic, be genuine, and be transparent. And coaching is a tremendous profession if you do. My hope is that everybody gets to have in their lives what I have had in my life. I'm very grateful. People have taken the time to let me know the impact I have on them and you know if we all can use that as the takeaway you know make sure you let the people that help you that impact you let them know it oh,